Welcome back to the West, where we're about to meet a real Colorado character. Kip Fuller's name may not be a household word, but chances are you've heard about at least one of his inventions, like the gadget that kills your ignition if you flunk a sobriety test after entering your car. But have you heard about what Kip is up to lately? pictures of the stealth fighter. Now we bring you pictures of the stealth car. Actually, the radar isn't confused by the car, but by the radar-absorbing bra strapped to its nose. Inventor Kip Fuller gave us a demonstration. This meter is nearly buried. You can see it's into the red, okay? As you drop down to the, not, to the stealth product, it almost goes away. Almost no energy being returned. Kip's Colorado company has already sold 4,000 of the carbon fiber bras at about 300 bucks a pop. His customers apparently know what the police know. Well, it generally picks up the largest target. I mean, not necessarily be a lead car, maybe a truck or something falling, but uh, generally the largest target. Kip claims, and independent tests have confirmed, that the bra reduces your car's radar profile, allowing you to hide among larger, more visible moving targets. Used in combination with radar detectors, buyers believe the bra gives them a few more precious seconds to spot the police. Come here, come on. More on the stealth bra in a moment, but perhaps we should talk about Kip for a second. You may have noticed he doesn't look like your standard inventor. In fact, Cosmopolitan named him their Bachelor of the Month a few years back. And the bra is not his first success. Remember the breathalyzer that would keep your car from starting if you were drunk? Well, that was Kip's product. And so is this guard for your parking place. Some of the others, an electronic home arrest system, a collapsible car trailer, a ski boot handle, and a portable car alarm. Altogether, Kip owns more than 200 patents. Kip also likes to play, but not just for fun. He says it's all part of his creative plan, staying free of family ties, avoiding a nine to five rut, and dabbling in a wide variety of games. I like to stay involved in a lot of different things, uh, never become, uh, the best at one thing and, and have more diversity in my life. I like to become good at everything that I do, but then go on and, and uh, become involved in other things. And it allows me to create in a lot of different areas rather than staying focused on one area. One example of that diversity can be found in the swimming pool, where Kip came up with another creation, submersible cassette players called Aqua Tunes. It's a product that lets Kip listen to his favorite Vivaldi as he swims laps and presumably churns out more ideas. Kip's home is in the Denver suburb of Littleton. This is where many of his ideas surface, and this is where we asked him about the contradiction between his career and image. Okay, so you're not the absent-minded professor. You do it... Just don't ask me my phone number. <laughs> Really? Kip may be absent-minded like an inventor, but he thinks the word innovator may describe him a bit more accurately. Before you had scientists that were inventors. Uh, I look today at the innovator as a, uh, an inventor and a marketing guy combined, which takes the science from the scientists and commercializes it in different areas. According to Kip, commercializing the stealth bra is not intended to encourage speeding. He says he's simply trying to defeat unreliable police radar, a claim that causes some mild consternation. I think the best way to avoid a speeding ticket, it probably sounds rather Pollyanna, but it's true, is just leave early enough to kind of enjoy your ride, whether you're going to work or whether you're going on vacation. So I, I guess the, uh, the logic of it rather escapes me. How do you feel you're just keeping them honest? I think that when we uh, have a society that starts using uh, technology to monitor the, the uh, habits of the public, I think that there should be technology to keep that in balance, yes. There we go. Okay. In the meantime, Kip is continuing to play, innovate, and market his products. This robot called a Space Mutt brought in almost $3 million a few years ago and helps keep him company around the house. Thanks. 
Speaking of that, who does this 34-year-old inventor keep company with? The humankind, anyway. Well, his party pictures and snapshots indicate he's had a lot of friends, but he says he's never had the time to do a good relationship justice. So for the moment, he plans to stay unattached. He strike me as a hybrid, a cross between Benjamin Franklin and Tom Selleck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the Tom Selleck. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever he is, Kip is pressing ahead, this time behind the invisible shield of his latest invention. Budgetary constraints may be slowing down other stealth technologies, but for Kip, it's full speed ahead, on to the next idea, and the next horizon. Kip says his life as an inventor began with science fair in third grade. And while he was in junior high, a motorcycle Kip designed exploded with him on it. Fortunately, it only melted his pants. It's a hard story to top, but we'll try. <laughs>